Hey everybody, I know that you've gotten used to me being a gardening kind of channel, but that wasn't really what we ever set out to be. That's just the majority of the videos. Right now I'm out here Saturday morning in Alabama at Gopher Green Living getting ready for the Cobbathon. And one thing that we've never done before at our house is really cooked on cast iron. That's a new thing for us and we want to get into that. So I asked everybody over on the homesteading group on Facebook which brand of Dutch oven they would prefer. And uh, overwhelmingly people said that Lodge is a good brand. And so that's what I bought was the Lodge Dutch oven. So now we're gonna cook on it this morning. I've already got my sausage browned up using my skillet. And now I'm gonna put the coals that I've started down on the ground here and get this going. We're going to make a, a casserole, if you will, a, a cowboy hash out of hash browns, sausage, and eggs using the Dutch oven. So wish us luck that we'll actually have some breakfast this morning. Okay, so the rule of thumb is that you use twice as many briquettes as you have the dimension of your camp stove. So ours is 12 inch, so we got 24 briquettes that have uh, heated up and you put a quarter of them on the ground and, or below the uh, camp oven and three quarters of them above the camp oven. So we're gonna put six on the ground here. If they don't all fall out the bottom. And a little lesson, I completely forgot to pack some tongs, so <laughs> do this the old fashioned way, I suppose. Let's see, all right, so we got a couple below it here. Now I need to grab the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we've got the hash browns in the bottom of the pan. We're gonna scoop over this, uh, sausage. I tell you, if you're not hungry before you start cooking, when you start seeing this, you get hungry real quick. This is to feed an awful lot of people, so this is going to put in a whole dozen eggs. This is six. And here's the other six. And then just because most anything breakfast is better with cheese. A bit of cheese on top of our little breakfast casserole here. All right, now we gotta spread the rest of these around the top here. Now I have to admit, that was probably painful for some of you to watch. It was certainly painful for me to even think about putting on video. I hate doing my first time trying something on video. But here it is, and I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm a skeptic. I mean, something, I just, that um, small amount of charcoal, I just don't see it happening. But this is supposed to sit here for about 30 minutes, and the big catch is supposed to be, don't crack the lid until you're really, really, really ready to let all that heat out. It's an oven. You want to keep that heat in as much as possible. Heat rises as soon as you crack the lid. You lose all of that heat and when you put the top back on it takes more time to heat everything back up again. So we're going to leave it alone and come back in about 30 minutes and see if we have breakfast. Hopefully everything is a success. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. We're at the point where we get to find out whether or not we get to have breakfast today. And here's another lesson. I did not remember to purchase the uh, little lid lifter, so thankfully I've got some thick gloves here. Well, I don't know. That doesn't look quite... It looks pretty yokey to me still. I think I'm going to end up <clears throat> putting this over a fire. All right, so there's the truth of it. First try, unsuccessful. And my family's hungry, so this goes over a fire now to get done a lot more quickly. 
So y'all tell me why did my oven not even cook eggs, which don't take all that much effort. Thanks for watching. See you next time.